<laughs> all right welcome back as we get all the alerts from logging in for today it's just gonna keep going and going isn't it it is how do I I know what I do oh that was the last one of course hey it's nighttime let's um let's go get some rough see if we can hit a couple of rough orders successfully that'll make us some early silver and then we'll try some stuff out I uh, yesterday there was somebody that was catching some decent little chub here at mosquito so I'm kind of tempted to try that out uh, let's do a 20 on this one uh, worms and uh, we can do crucian gibble it's fine hope you all are doing well the other thing besides trying that spot where like I said somebody was uh, catching chub the other thing I thought about doing was just like throwing some bait in and seeing if we couldn't find a couple common carp here so once it gets to be once we get some, uh, try to get this rough order done, that might be what we do. be just like making ground bait I don't know do we want to do it with millet porridge we probably ought to just save that um, maggots are pretty cheap right yeah I think that's fine I was gonna make a couple stacks of just like junk ground bait we could throw on for the rough I mean at some point we're gonna have to get more aggressive with ground bait but haven't necessarily felt that need just yet. All right, let's see if Ruff are here or if we're mostly just gonna be catching White Bream again. That, that is a nice, a nice White Bream, let's be honest. Now this is probably a Ruff. And I think there's two orders. I think one of them for smalls and one of them for for mediums on the rough front. I didn't actually notice if there's a white bream order or not. All right, good start to the night on rough. They're showing up. Oh, I forgot to switch that ground bait. That's all right. They are showing up, which I like to see. Someone have a nice char? Oh yeah, Droz had a nice char. Level 30. Good to see some new names in chat today. <coughs> Welcome to the chat channel. There's a nice one. Jessica Tim, I know that you have uh, been posting on Facebook, I mean, sorry, YouTube as well. I appreciate all the support there. Level 31, look at you. I had no idea what level you were. 202 trophies. Wow, zero broken rods, zero broken reels. Nice Caspian brown trout. Look at that humongous asp. Wow, good job. Really well done. The roach master came back. That's funny. 
Apollo level 20. Gintus, I've seen some of these names in here before, but they're 18, but there's definitely some new names in here as well. Welcome to all the new folks. If we have a moment where the bites slow down for a second, I was gonna go, uh, yeah, we're actually getting marker white bream now, which is super exciting. Lots of love in chat. Very nice. There's a good one. So some folks in chat apparently had a uh, grayling comp at Delia. That sounds very fun. I'm not sure about this third line. No, we're good. All right, maybe we have a second here. Nope, we don't. Um, all right, so we've got a few pieces of cheese left. Just kind of looking. I think the only thing I might want to pick up if we're going to try some different baits for commons is maybe some corn. I'm wondering if corn will work. And I'll look at all the uh, recent comments and stuff on videos as soon as we're fishing for something that's not biting quite as fast. Um, let's, uh, let's see. I think this is a new person, right? Yeah, level 18. Welcome to the channel. Uh, Mascutus LTU. All right, let's just grab some corn and then maybe a couple of strategic things of ground bait, figure out um, how we might be able to put some fake, um, some fake carp ground bait together. That's interesting that wheat seeds, I don't know if they've always, maybe they have. Oh, I guess pea is the other thing that we could try. I just don't really know like what all the options are here at um, at Mosquito. I don't go for commons here very very often. Let's see. So we definitely would want corn, and I'm thinking peas. Like a oh shoot. I didn't realize we had to be higher. Oh, that's thirty percent. Okay, never mind. So corn and. Um, maybe just corn or do we put like, I mean, they're not going to mind a little maggots. Maybe we do a couple of maggots. Um, and then I think this is where we try semolina. Get a little crazy. And then do we want to go caramel or vanilla? I'm actually not sure, but I think we already have a little vanilla, so we can choose between the two. Okay. I love that that chub ground bait is ground bait is still working. That's awesome. The rough that almost got away. All right, I think we should go get an update from the cafe actually.
may be getting awfully close. Awfully close. So let's see, five from 20, six from 70. So we only have one that's more than 70. I'd say there's a good chance we're not gonna get that one uh, unless we are really committed to it. But that was 28 E, the easy silver. Oh, there is a common order. That's kind of interesting. So we would need five more over 70. I'm not sure that it's worth just the time that it would take to do that. The only nice thing is the fact that the white bream are coming out of this spot now. As it gets to be early morning, we'll probably start seeing them again. Um, but y'all have had to put up with me rough fishing so much, and I'm sure I'll do, a, do it a lot in the future too. And neither one of these are over 70, so... Let me remind myself where we're going here. 50, 59, clip 20. Let's go ahead and get these set up. So, uh, actually I think this like regular ground bait is probably a good idea. And eight, eight, six or eight, 8, 11, 8, 8, 11 maybe. So we'll do eight on this one. Let's just try it. I don't actually know the, um... all right, 50, 59, clip 20. All right, 50, 59, clip 20, and then slight to the left. Let's just see what happens here, guys. I have no idea, but I think this is where I might have said who it was. Yeah, Gray Cow was catching Chub here, which seemed pretty exciting. Uh, so I just want to try it, you know? A lot of small rough. All right, I'm glad we're moving on for your sake. Um, all right, we want that, and we want eight on this one as well. Pearl Barley pickup. 20. Let's see if it makes sense on slight left. I don't really know. And then over here, we're going to do the 11. And again, this is all with pearl barley. We'll do a little less left on this one. So we'll see how it goes, right? Oh. All right, let's do that um, fake carp. Semolina, corn, maggots, I think we'll try caramel, let's just do a couple stacks of this, just some random, uh oh, okay I guess one stack for now. Okay, so let's see what we're catching here. All right, I like it. It's a nice, decent roach. 
You got to be careful because 20 clip is uh, longer than I think it's going to be on this gear compared to on my main account. What I'm, you know, what I'm used to throwing on. That looks like a little chub, and this is the farthest one to the left. Now with chub, we could probably go to a little larger hook size even. White bream on pearl barley. Red worms. What's our red worm count at this point? We're back up to 47. We almost got 50 of them. We've built our inventory back up. The digging really pays off. Where are y'all looking for carps? Oh, Belaya. Yeah, I don't know. That sounds like a pipe dream. Now, I'm sure they're occasionally there somewhere, but I haven't heard much about them. Red maggot throwing grass to the left cane. That's float though. If I could better understand the translation of some of this stuff, it'd be interesting. a chub? It is. This is interesting. Alright, so there's chub here. Let's uh, increase hook size for just a minute to see what happens. It's a roach. Let's go to what would I go to if I was fishing at winding for chub? Not even sure. I don't remember.
That seemed pretty quick. Okay, so let's see what we're getting here. Hoping with a little larger size hook, we might get a little more impressive chub. here which is nice that's a big roach There's some big roach here. And bream. All right, let's see one more cycle of fish and then we'll go try something else. This seems like a pretty good spot though. Might be worth further investigation. So I'm really curious about this next place we're going to try. And I think we go ahead and let's go move over there. Um, I've been watching this spot on this, uh, this Russian site. And it started off and it was getting a ton of negative votes. 
Um, but the site, the, the, the list has gotten more and more detailed and it looks like slowly over time it's gotten more positive. Now we're up plus 10 and positive, which isn't that much. I mean, some of the big, really good spots like this spot that what over there that I start with fish like a week ago or whatever, that spot is on this site and it's up to like plus 400. So you can get some really high votes, but this one started in the negative and it's managed to get up to positive. So I'm just really curious about it. I think I want to try it. Uh, it also gives us a chance to use peas. That's one of the baits that has been tested here, supposedly. Just want to see what kind of results we get. Um, so we're looking for 67.54, which is right here. Which is right here. We're gonna, it says clip 10 to 10 to 12, so we'll do 11. Um, what we wanna try is, I think let's just put Crucian Gibble, it's pretty standard. We'll keep this, uh, let's do actually eight. Let's start with a reasonable, and we wanna try peas. Like, I don't even know that that's hitting the water. I guess it is. Um, and I wanna try Cheese. Let's try some weird stuff here. And what would be a good just like, yeah, size 11 hook. You know what, let's go another larger hook actually. And let's try corn. I really wanna see like if we get at all the results that this person is, again, through this Russian site is saying that you will get. This is such a bizarre spot to fish from. It's not gonna be fun like pulling the fish in there. Um, So can we even see where our lines are going in? It looks like I might clip to 12 because it looks like they're going. Maybe we can get on the other side of them and see them a little bit. This is some, this is a tricky place to fish from. It's just not going to be an easy way to goodness. I might clip to 12 though, just to make sure that we're clearing everything with all three lines. All right, which one's getting the fish? I mean, it, it, that's the other thing. It's going to be hard to see when a fish is really on. Aesthetically, I'm not going to enjoy the spot, but and I, I just cannot believe that there isn't a better place to try to, all right, so all three lines are going straight through there. Like, why can't we just do it from here with a, an eight clip, right? I just don't know. Trophy bream order. Wait, was our bream here at Mosquito, was it 
Oh shoot, it doesn't track. Yeah, and our biggest one was at Old Berg now, so we won't be able to tell. That stinks. All right, have we not had a bite yet? All right, so this is on the cheese. Again, very annoying. Um, I'm gonna go to 12. There's no reason to have to fish in this spot. <laughs> but it's interesting. This is on peas. Okay. And then this was supposed to be, let's see, this is corn. Okay. I mean, this is really some, some of the baits I was going to try for carp with but this spot is specifically advertised as a spot to catch roach we may occasionally see like crucians and stuff but according to what the write-up says we should be seeing a good deal of roach here which so far we're two for two on roach but they haven't been um haven't been anything like to write home about I mean I guess you could the other thing to take into account is they may be using actual like roach ground bait or something That's a little, a little larger. Ooh, it's a lot larger. Over a kilo.
ultimately I think the answer is going to be to double up on um, either peas or cheese here because the corn the um, yeah the corn has just been way slow I mean, we're definitely catching lots of lots of roach. I think we're getting a nibble on the corn finally. Boy, this is a weird spot, isn't it? The only thing is I kind of am wondering if this might be a reasonable spot. Oh, I can make... Why did I not remember that roach mix was available at this order? I did not remember that. 
What I sort of am wondering, though, is if this is a reasonable spot that we might get our first roach trophy at Mosquito on this account. But I think I need to change, change this up. Now we've got peas times two, because overall I feel like peas have been the fastest bites. And then cheese time one, because cheese has been pretty good too. Maybe we just go ahead and fill that roach order even though we don't have the really small ones. It's 11 silver, might as well just get it done. And we're really not catching anything else so far in this spot. one too. try to cast from back here we might be able to see the line a little better whoa oh that's like a little tinch okay Okay. Decent one. This is what I don't like. This is probably my least favorite part of the spot. Is figuring out how to get the fish in reasonably.
And that might unfortunately be the answer is to actually move over a little bit with the fish on. Which isn't the safest way to go about things, but... angle isn't quite as bad over here. So, we're not going to catch a ton of roach overnight, right? I think that's the case. I was trying to see if there was any description of what the spot was doing overnight. talk about overnights. Sorry, Magnum. I wasn't understanding your your question there for a second. This time of day, I'd say they seem to be getting smaller. Where for a while there, they were decent size. I mean, if nothing else, this is nice to know about just if we get a, a roach order that we're trying to finish off.
Thanks, love. fish does he have on? I'm watching this guy who's fishing at a spot at um, at uh, Amber. Looks like he's doing pretty good. It's 136 147 No idea the clip or the baits he's using or any of that but might be worth investigating later on. Looks like, I don't know how long he's been fishing, but he's got a pretty full net. Like 40, no, 59 fish. We are filling up our, you know, it, it, they add up. Roach don't sell for a ton, but they start to add up. from like this spot would be less painful. And that's still casting into the same basic spot. But we've kind of got that lip right there we can sort of coax it in from. this person level 12 Hey, what was cool, if nothing else, is finding out. Let me go back to a 10 clip in this spot. Finding out that uh, I have, I can make common roach bait 
uh, ground bait. I just didn't realize that. I didn't remember it being something you could do at such a low level of uh, ground bait. Makes sense, but so you can do crucian gibble and common roach from early on, which is just really nice. Actually, let's go ahead and I'm going to try moving all the clips back to 10 now that I've got a little better view of things in this spot. I think we're fishing in basically the same spot the other place was, so I think we'll be good. I just am wondering, though, if how much things are just going to die out here at night. What we should probably do is go check that uh, bream spot, to be perfectly honest with you. It's over here on this side, and it's been a while since we've done it. Although roach might bite here through the night. I mean, I don't want to give up too soon if we're going to have a chance at some bigger roach as it gets later. I guess let's just hang out unless the bite rate just dies. If we're still getting nice little roach here. To me, this is one of the coolest things about spending the amount of time that we've spent in this leveling series at Mosquito is that um, you really start to get better and better at, at being able to just, um, you know, a cafe order comes up for a species and for many of the species in this lake at least, you're just like, okay, I know a spot that likely will catch that. Let's go see if we can do this order. And it's a good way to make silver. And it's just kind of a fun way to fish early on, I think. And now that we've found this spot, I'm kind of... Even if it doesn't happen this episode, I'm sort of determined to figure out if we can get a trophy in this spot. There's so many roach here, it just feels like we might be able to. Like that's a nice size one too. Swinging all over the place. Um... But it'll be good to know if how late into the night they still bite. That'll be helpful to know. And maybe what we can do next time if we fish in the spot again is even increase the hook size more. Look at all those roach. And like I said, I mean, they add up. Let's look at just the roach. I mean, that's almost 40 silver in roach. With the, with the, the bite rate in this spot, you know, you could make decent silver per day. I'm going to try four.
So let's see if this spot that uh, Crispy is streaming from is already listed on the Russian site. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's just a couple degrees off. It's brand new today. So it might be where he got the idea from. I don't know. Alright, so we're still getting bites and it's midnight. doesn't look like it has much information yet. According to this, it's clip 40, by the way. He's got 67 fish. Although it does look like he's been there a while because some of them are starting to get expired or old or whatever. I think how it works with wobblers, the divers, is that they have a depth in which they are designed to go. And so if they're receiving enough force in the water, they will sink to that depth and stay at that depth as long as they're receiving adequate force to, to be there. And if you slow down or relieve the force, then they will rise again. What hook for white bream? Uh, that's not exactly true either, fisherman, because if it's not fast enough, it will rise to the top. Actually, I don't know. Are there some that will sink to the right depth no matter what you're doing, even if you're letting it just sit there? I think all of them Yeah, that might be what right what Ryan is saying is that there's or Fabrique is saying there's some floating, some sinking ones. But I know that many of them do their depth adjusts if you don't have the a, a certain amount of force on them. When you stop, it won't come up. Is that right? I thought they did come back up if they were a floating. You know, I haven't, I don't know that I've actually tested that. It goes down as you start to troll forward or if you're reeling it. And then if you completely stop, it doesn't start to come up. I'd have to test that. Off the top of my head, I thought a lot of them came back up, but I could be totally wrong. So, okay, we've gotten our answer here, right? This is a good roach spot until a certain time. About midnight, the bites are going to stop. They probably start again 4 or 5 a.m. 
How long have we been going so far? Yeah, we're over an hour. I do just want to throw into the Breen spot for just a minute, and then we'll wrap this episode up. It's been a while since we've tried this, right? Um, we at least want to go 20. And that looks about right. I don't think we went 20 on that. Our comfort is so low because of this rain. That went 20. Now this time of night, all we should catch on this pearl barley, I think, would be bream or white bream. Unless the roach do still bite, maybe they move to deeper waters, I don't know. Yeah, Sura is one of the hardest places to find all the buildings. Partially because I haven't spent that much time at Sura. Same with the new uh, Donuts River place. Can we get a trophy roach from that spot if we keep trying it? I think we probably could. We need to start like really early in the morning. Try a little larger hook sizes like we were. Might even should go pee straight across. I don't know. Cheese is doing okay though. I was amazed how well peas were working. I would have never come up with that, that peas would be the best roach bait there. But it looks like we might have to find a new bream spot at Mosquito. It's raining, it's cold weather, and no bream bites. That's not a great sign, is it? We usually would have had a bite before now, I think. Nice gibble. Nice gibble. 22 trophies. No broken rides, no broken reels. I like it. Look at that black cart. The Shire.
Well, let's see what species this even is. Have the bream moved out as the white bream moved in? It's starting to look that way. What are we up to? 759 silver. About halfway there on silver. To being able to um, transition to trolling at Cory. Yeah, the regular breamers aren't biting in this spot right now. But they could be somewhere else in the lake. It is possible. But the rough and the whites are biting. The roughs and the whites are biting. That's cool. All right. Maybe we try to punch our ticket on a trophy roach next episode. I'm intrigued by this little spot. Oh, interesting. A new rough order just popped. So even though we're not quite there on that one, we are there on this one. That was very lucky, 32 more silver. 32 more silver, we'll take it. All right, 54, we ended up over 100 with cafe orders. So we're up to 847 silver. As always, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you next time. Get probably get another episode in tonight. So I'll see you then. Peace out.